Yo, it's Guido coming at you with the Tactics Talk. Welcome back, guys. Have a great day out there. Spawned into the south. We are currently on Himmel's Glacier Dorf. We're going to talk about opportunity. We're going to talk about opportunity and how to take that. I think when you're playing a bottom tier tank, you really need to be a bit of a vulture looking for opportunity. I am in a casemate tank. It does a decent amount of Alpha 300 or so, the Burza. It actually, got, it actually has decent armor for this tier. But it's certainly not something I want to rush forward and start punching uh, faces with the Skoda, the Renegade, and the IS-6B. Right? I also don't want to get lit by light tanks and bombed by the artillery. So I'm going to have to try to be a bit of a vulture. They get a couple light tanks go up the hill. I want to support the heavies over here, but right now I don't want to push. Right? I need to look for an opportunity. I'm looking for an opportunity to get somewhere with my tank. Doesn't matter if I'm in a casemate. Doesn't matter if I'm in a medium or a heavy. Now I might with a heavy and a medium go to certain spots, but I'm still, especially as lower tier, looking for an opportunity to do something important. Okay. Now you, I think you want to do that with any tier, but especially lower tier, if you want to be especially effective, you're going to be looking for an opportunity and it doesn't matter, like I said, what tank you're in, what type. Sometimes you're just the guy that opportunity uh, is knocking, right? The door is knock, the door is, the opportunity door is knocking. Your door is, I don't know. Open the damn door, okay? Look for the door, open it, walk through, do the opportunity. <laughs> Their light tanks went up on the hill. I actually missed an opportunity right there while I was talking. I don't know if you noticed, but that LTG actually came up and over just a bit. I might have been able to kill him. I don't know why I thought I could maybe just shoot through the deck or something. What I'm watching now though, take a look what what's the opportunity maybe that you can start to see let's take a look at the mini map down there and ask yourself self what is guido going on about about opportunity where is a possible opportunity for a tier 6 td that might not be the usual thing so think about it and let's see what guido does i actually stopped my recording three times there trying to figure out why my keybinds were messed up. But anyway, off we go. I am thinking about going to support the heavies. But I'm also looking somewhere and thinking, I think I have an opportunity. What is it? Well, we're going to let that cat out of the bag. I don't see any other guys in the middle, fellas. I see the 1357 in the south. I see the Leo down there. I see some heavies, which are starting to get an advantage on our heavies. I'm not liking. I really don't want to go face to face with them if I if I can avoid it. The opportunity I see is, what if we crawled up this carrier hill right here? Because I don't seem to see any of their tanks in the middle. We've done a nice job in the south, killed a couple up in the north. Everything's looking pretty good. I think if I get up here and help this KV-4 and T-26 and maybe uh, you know knock knock on the door of the 3045 as I go by. I don't know what he's doing, but he's AFK. He does come alive pretty much as I go by him or so. What an opportunity, man. I made it. I got up the uh, corner right there. So we're going to go ahead and come on up here and see if we can see if we can surprise some of these fellas. I see the 3001 go by. Now, I'm hoping the KV-2 stops, but he doesn't. A little bit concerned by that, but I'm going to shoot this guy in the back. At the very least, we're going to get them really worked. Oh, I missed. That's not good. KV-2 doesn't see me. I'm trying to back up to maybe that guy can't hit me. But notice the 3001 is reacting pretty nicely. That sucks. Renegade got a shot on me. Nothing I can do about that. Just keep backing up. He sees me. All right. Notice his gun elevation isn't quite enough. <laughs> right? I need to be looking down that barrel for him to have a shot on me right there. I've got him tracked. The Renegade is looking at me here. And yeah, it's an opportunity, but I've also sort of put myself in a bind right here. I'm just going to have to rely on the armor doing something for me. But really, also what I'm doing is giving my guys a bit of a breather. Maybe they can come around and start punishing these dudes. So I keep trying to get out of this thing. Okay, Renegade got me. Man, I'm on eight hit points. That's okay. Let's shoot him. This other guy's looking for a shot on me. Just, okay, that was a track. Little wiggle jiggle. Let's kill him. And then let's just get out of here. Run, run away. Avoid uh, the 3001 missed. Do a little jumper right there. And we got out of that with eight hit points. Very nice. And really just disrupted that push that was going on right there. Now I'm just going to try to look for some more hit points. We got 960 damage. 
got ourselves a kill. We got in there, took some of the pressure off the KB-4 and the Skirta. They do a nice job. They kill the IS-6. I make a big mistake here. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, boy. I'm trying to hide behind these anti-aircraft guns. I don't even know if you can shoot through these. No idea. The reason I didn't shoot is I wasn't sure, and I didn't want to prove to the Renegade that you could. Then he shot and proved that you can't. So good. I didn't know. I didn't know. Watch this. I saw him moving. You gotta love it, man. Look at all that damage I just got out of that thing. 450 with a 220. 220. What is the alpha on this thing? Did I say 300? Maybe it's 240. It's 280 and I rolled a 220? Goodness gracious. But we got him dead anyway. We lit him on fire. Check it out. It's all over but the shout. And there's only two guys alive right there. So to celebrate the uh, opportunity that we took, that we saw and we took, yep, we'll chuck some luck in there, but there you go. How does it go? Fortune favors the bold or the stupid, and the opportunity knocking door knocks the opportunity, and then you, you, door, you open the door to the knock of opportunity, fellas. And then you take, you take an opportunity to understand how the end of the game goes. Kind of hoping one of those will get within draw distance, but I really don't think so. So we'll just come up here and we'll take some blind shots at the Skoda, none of which hit. 15 to 5 again, says Big Daddy, the GW Panther. Uh, not really, it's 14 to 6, but okay, I understand it. At the time it was. We're just waiting for their Skoda. Why was their Skoda over there? I don't know. I don't know. Why not? Waiting for him to die. Because remember, once they die, there's a couple seconds before the game stops. And all oh, the arties, the little 304 is just shooting the poor guy. And then you can have a little bit of fun diving off of things. Look for those kinds of situations in your games. There he died. We just dive off. Woohoo! And we'll just dunk. Oh. All right, right on top. Look for those kinds of situations in your games, especially lower tier, where you can drive that wedge in somewhere, right? I was careful initially. Do I go down there with the heavies? I don't think so. Can I get a shot on these guys up on the up on the carrier? Not quite. Where can I go next? I might be forced to go down to help the heavies because they look like they're having trouble. All right, I'll do so. I have some hit points. I have a decent gun for a tier six, so I was on my way. And then I noticed the middle. I said, you know, I don't see anybody in the middle. And if I count noses on where everybody is, I don't think they have anybody watching the middle. So it's not a usual thing to see a TD get up on the carrier right there. But I got up there, got on their side, punished a couple of their tanks, cranked out twice my hit points and then some, lit a renegade on fire and caused him to explode. And all because I was sort of paying attention to the game and what was going on around me. And that, that is what you're looking for in this game. Doesn't happen every game. Sometimes the opportunity just isn't there. The door of opportunity door of opening the opportunity door is just it's welded closed and you're never you're never gonna open it. In fact, probably as you're reaching for it, the other team breaks it down and crushes you with it. But oftentimes in this game, you can see or find something like this where you can be useful even as a lower tier. That's all I've got. Have a good one. We will see ya.